Canada is currently facing pales in comparison to Italy, scene of the largest outbreak in Europe. Cases there have now topped 7,300. And today the country unveiled the most extreme measures to contain the virus seen in the Western world. A wide area of the country's north, including Milan and Venice, are now under quarantine. A region of 16 million people, a quarter of Italy's population, and the source of about a third of the country's GDP. Megan Williams is in Italy tonight. Stiamo affrontando un'emergenza. The dramatic news came in the dead of night. Italian Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte announcing that to contain the soaring coronavirus infections and deaths, the vital economic region of Lombardia and 14 other cities and surrounding areas would go into lockdown, enforced by armed checkpoints, fines and even possible prison time. No one allowed in or out without special permission. News had leaked out before the announcement, and hundreds made a mad dash to catch trains south, hoping to avoid the restrictions by returning to family homes in southern Italy. Alle loro case. That prompted southern leaders, like the president of Puglia, to take to social media, where he told those heading south to get off the train, turn your cars around, don't bring the epidemic here. But the vast majority are abiding by the rules and staying in the red zones. Some areas have already been under quarantine for two weeks. And with some 1,300 more infected and 133 more deaths in the last 24 hours alone, Lombardia resident Laila Beecher worries the intensive care system is on the brink of collapse. Our hospitals are full. Our intensive care units are getting full. There are really few uh, spots open, so now it's, it's, it's a pretty situation. A prison in the northern town of Modena was the site of rebellion against visiting restrictions due to the virus. Even the Vatican has been affected, with this week its first patient inside the tiny city-state testing positive. To discourage people from gathering, the Pope live-streamed his Sunday Angelus address instead of delivering it from his balcony overlooking St. Peter's Square praying for all those suffering from the epidemic. Megan Williams, CBC News, Rome.